Yes, indeed. Carriages to all the cities in Skyrim. Yep. Where do you want to go? We're just gonna go ahead and travel directly, directly to a Hafengar. Straight through, or did you want to stop somewhere along the way? Ah, uh, we we gotta go straight to Solitude. Climbing back, and we'll be off. Yes, indeed. So, uh, Solitude it is. You ever hear the one about the Briton and the Bear Tamer? No, and I don't want to hear about it. But yes, uh, this is Selril, the Altmer supremacist, and we are heading on back to Solitude. And hopefully, hopefully, uh, yes, we wake up as the carriage co caused a halt. Yes, yes. Um, uh, with any luck, quick save it just in case. Uh, we can get this Legacy of the Dragonborn kicked off. We have been, for the longest time, trying to get ourselves um, a steady job in something. And it looks like we can finally be uh, uh, acknowledged as a relic hunter, make some money that way. Hopefully. that's That's been our goal, is to just be set up and not uh, be destitute. And we've gone all over Skyrim to do it via wagons like we've uh and, and it's been successful uh we have stolen from bandits no we haven't really fought bandits per se but we've stolen from them quite a bit and we were successful uh, we, we've killed a few bandits but for the most part we've just been stealing from them like going in grabbing their treasure and leaving I've and it's been very effective so um what we're going to do is we are going to uh uh, head on over and hopefully we can get that job um, as a um, as a relic hunter um, Hi there. indeed indeed let's uh, continue you, you help me. yes you help people, right? there we go hmm. these children are not that uh, that big a deal there oh my goodness uh, no big deal. Ooh. Yeah, it's a noble goal, exactly. Except, um, he's the third child of a family, so it's not like he's actually, um, he's not actually going to inherit anything. And noble does not actually, um, how do I put this? Our concept of noble deeds are not necessarily, um, one with the concept of someone being of noble blood. Trust me on that. Aryan, I found Jade Warrior too. Oh, you have! Excellent. Yes, I have just the place for this. Thank you. Here's your reward. Excellent. Six House Bellhammer. Ah, phenomenal. Let me have a look. Ah, yes, exactly as described. Good work. Here's your pay. Okay, and then Stagmer's ring. Very good. And in excellent condition, it seems. Wonderful. Those are all the artifacts you needed. That is very impressive, my friend. You are certainly more than a mere treasure hunter. Which brings me to my next proposal. I'm in need of a full-time partner of sorts. A person of your caliber who can dedicate themselves to uncovering more lost artifacts and relics on their own, while I continue my research efforts. And you have proven yourself more than capable of the job. Mm -hmm. And I think a special arrangement could work. Instead of me simply buying the relics off of you, perhaps you could bring them here, lend them to the museum. I'll give you an occasional finder's fee, and we'll safeguard your collection for you. You'll be able to access any and all of your collection as you see fit, and you'll know the rest of it will be safe. In that your escalated practice. quickly. That escalated quickly. Now, now uh, it gets to be my collection. And not just uh, the museums. The museum safeguards my collection, basically. Excellent. Well, let me give you the ten septum tour then. Excellent. Sounds good to me. This building was once called Magnarian Hall and was built as a temple dedicated to Talos, the patron god of the Norns. After the White Gold Concordate, however, the statue was moved and the temple closed. I came here a few years ago and was able to procure use of the space in the pursuit of establishing this museum. Of course, I have had the building vastly expanded over the last two years. 
to accommodate what I hope will become one of the grandest collections of Tamrielic history in the world. This grand atrium I call the Hall of Heroes. It is where a variety of historically significant relics can be displayed. And is quite a striking entrance to the museum, if I do say so myself. Off to the right is the reception hall and staff barracks, as well as the museum office where I do much of my work. To our left, you'll find the central hallway leading to all the other galleries of the museum, mm -hmm. which also serves as the cultural arts exhibit. Here, I hope to display a variety of art, as well as elements representing the more primitive cultures here in the sky, such as the Falmer, Forsworn, the Giants, and more. Down here on the lower level, you will find access to the East Exhibit Halls, which houses the Daedric Gallery, the Hall of Lost Empires, Hall of Oddities, and the Hall of Legends, which showcase a vast array of relics pertaining to the Daedra, Dwemer, Fulmer, and ancient Nordic cultures, as well as a number of peculiar items that defy simple classification. I see. At the close end of this hall, the stairwell will lead to the armories in the basement and up to the second floor. Hmm? There, you will find access to the Natural Science Gallery, as well as the Dragonborn Hall, where I will commission a variety of displays heralding any of your accomplishments. Right. At the far end of My the accomplishments? hall, on both floors, you'll find access to the Grand Library, and here, on this floor, the door on the right also connects to the museum office. If you cannot find me in my office, you will almost certainly find me whiling away the hours in the library. Also, you should pick up a copy of the museum guide at the entrance of the museum. It will let you know the schedule of where I'm working, should you need to find me. And it will offer you an easier way of navigating the museum, as well as keep track of how many displays our museum has. Of course, it may take me a moment to update those accounts, so check the guide again if you feel the numbers seem off. I'm sure I'll eventually account for everything. Any items you find for display, you can either manually place them yourself, or utilize the prep station in my office. And I'll ensure everything you have gets properly displayed if it has an appropriate place. I'm likely to have a variety of tasks for you, but in between, I'm sure you could help me find a random relic or two I've been researching. Feel free to look around and come find me if you have any questions. I'm very excited about the prospects of where we are headed. On Solo Burger, thanks for subscribing. Appreciate it. All right. Let's see. That should be it. I think he's done talking to me. Let's summon forth Bandal. That didn't work. How do we summon forth the great and powerful Bandal? What shall we do? Let me see here. Taxonomy is not correct. Teleportation. Bandal. Yes, my mer servant. Only one crash in uh, eight hours. Yes. Only one crash in eight hours. Okay. Let me see here. We need to not display drop of the prep station, yes. We want to use the prep station, I think. We need to make sure everything we want is set up here. Let's do it. Let's just uh, put away everything at the moment. Okay, yes. What it's going to do is it's actually going to take everything from my inventory that isn't favorited. And it's going to put it in the gallery. This is uh, pretty good. It's a pretty good run if it's only one parade. Well, as the scripts increase and things happen, um, you know, who knows? Who knows, really? But yes. Ooh. Uh, either way. I expected many, many more crashes more frequently, and that's because, number one, I'm not running it on Windows. I'm running it on Linux. So there's a compatibility layer that's running in between the two. It's uh, Steam's... Uh, Proton, that's number one. And number two, um, I'm running 140, uh, I think it's 144 plugins. Point is, it's a lot. And I expect um, more crashes. We're just currently waiting for the displays to finish sorting. Yes. But uh, yeah, it's, it's special. 
definitely special. Let's see here. Now, the reason you can have 144 plugins is because unlike uh for, sorry, 144 444 yes the reason you can have 444 plugins is because skyrim special edition uses esl uh plugins and they're they were designed for the creation club right so instead of actually using creation club mods people modders have created their own plugins that are flagged as creation club mods therefore bypassing the load order limit and that's why practically every compatibility patch now is an esl that's why you'll have like like 40 different compatibility patches and yet none of them count toward your uh load order that's due to the esl format all right so we got 36 new displays which is great uh, it means that we're actually going to uh, save the game we're going to have a look here Yes, correct. ESLs are not counted toward the load order limit. Egg, exactly. Exactly. All right, Fane Doll. I need to give you all the junk I'm carrying right now because they're, they're, we just have issues with the carry weight at the moment. But uh, let me see here. I'm going to... Uh, eventually, we'll get a safe house where we can properly place this stuff. Yeah. I uh, said you won't uh, touch Oblivion again until it gets certain things. Yeah, I, I agree. Like, I really want to play Oblivion again. I'm probably going to, but I'm going to regret it every time it crashes. I'm going to be annoyed every time it crashes. And I will tell myself the same thing as you. I'm not going to touch it again until it gets like an OpenMW situation or some kind of major overhaul that fixes the crashes. And um, then, of course, I will touch it again regardless and, uh, you know, feel like a dumbass. So, let's see here. I have a Bosmer servant. Um, I won't have a Khajiit slave, no. He said, uh, is this uh, Killian 2.0? Uh, more or less. We've uh, we played up the idea that he's... Um, he he kind of got run out of high rock. Got, like, mysterious circumstances there. And, um, you know, he's, he's kind of... He's not destitute necessarily in terms of owing a lot of money but he's kind of used up all his currency so he doesn't have any money and skyrim's economy due to my mods the way i've set this up on intentionally um is very unforgiving like uh, as far as the um uh, the money goes so um intentionally uh speaking this is going to be a little more difficult getting started and that's fine Oh, we found a Magna G statue. Fine. Um, yeah. That's really good. Very good, very good. Am I in danger because of the wildfires? No. Okay, so let me explain the, the local area. So, um, there's a city, right? Then next to the city, there's a mountain. And then on the other side of the mountain, there's the, the fires. So, No. Even if it got all the way into the city, which is unlikely, very unlikely, it would still have to go through tons and tons of land to get to me. Did that ESLs fail, sometimes fail load properly? ESLs can only be a certain size. Like, there's a limitation on how ESLs uh, work. You, like... How do I put this? If an ESL is too big, it will not load properly most of the time. Sometimes it will. It's inconsistent, right? But the general uh, gist of it is that um, compatibility patches are the best for ESLs. Like ESLs are just absolutely perfect for compatibility patches because they're like, what? A, a little line of code? A, a, a single little graphic that needs to be changed? You know, it... ESLs are perfect for that, for, for just compatibility fixes. Now, uh, we're here now, and if you look, uh, we like this is the armory. All the different things that we could potentially get all fit here in the armory. Very good. So you can see right here the, uh, the uh, what is it called, the hide armor has its place in the gallery. You can see a little check mark there, meaning it's in the gallery now. Like, the, you see the little icon next to hide bracers? It's, um, yeah. 
So uh, what mod makers have been doing recently with ESLs, it's very interesting. They actually have now a um, a type of plugin uh, where they will use an ESL to reference the mod, meaning that most of the mod's data isn't actually held in the ESL plugin. It's merely a reference point to the actual plugin, which doesn't get loaded until the ESL calls it, which is really nice. Like, it's a really great concept. Oh, here we go. We got the, the steel items there. You can see the, the short spear, the hatchet. Excellent. You can see these are finally... Uh, the, and then again, the iron boots, the branded iron shield, like the iron sword with the... Um, Iron short sword. Yeah, it's, it's really good. It's looking like everything is processing properly. And I love that little check mark next to it. Like you see iron sword and then there's a little check mark. It means that, yeah, you have that in the gallery already. Congratulations. Makes me wonder if, uh, yeah. Go. Yeah. Ooh. Yes. Well, unfortunately, that comes with the companion. The, uh, let me see here. If we open it up, I think there's a, uh, well, first of all, we leveled, so let's get more health because we're desperate need of more health. Thinking, uh, here we go. Uh, excellent. My destruction spells are more powerful and use less magic. Thank God we needed that. Um,. Now, as far as... Uh, wait, I didn't mean to go to... Th this, these are just miscellaneous uh, item racks. Let me see here. I think it was under... Uh, no. Let's have a look here. Uh, do, 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 do. Um, it was the Legacy of the Dragonborn um, Companion, I believe it's called. Uh, Legacy of the Dragonborn Curator's Companion. Yes, this is it. This is the Curator's Companion. So, um, Museum uh, Enabled, Enabled, Enabled. Uh, more HUD and Scan. Soul Icons. Museum Scan Type Manual. Uh, scan Notifications. Enabled. Uh, uh, relic Storage. You can see how uh, Token Crafting... Uh, completion sections and it shows, tells you how complete things are. Uh, me, I, 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 there was an option for it and I just can't find it right now. Hold on. Um, I, I'm, I'm curious because the curator's companion has a uh, has a power somewhere. I just can't find it. Some kind of option that brings it open and I just don't remember where it is because I've used it before and uh, like I'm I'm blanking on how to access it unfortunately. Um, yeah, there, there's like a whole UI for the Curator's Companion. And I'm looking for it right now, fortunately. Uh, let's actually head on out and get the Curator's Guide, uh, guide here. No, oh, we, yeah, we're leaving. Hold on. Being distracted. Um, I think that's the exit. The exit's with where the banners are. Yes, that's the Hall of Heroes. Okay. Oh, thank God. I got distracted. I need to go pick up the curator's guide at the front door. It's, uh, yeah, there should be a curator's guide right there, which I can... There it is, the curator's guide. We just quickly uh, use it, and here we go. Display count curator's guide is a complete guide to the Ga Dragonborn Gallery. It contains lots of useful uh, information about the displays, and then we can read the guide, find Arian, or move. we can teleport around the museum if we want. But, uh, no, that's not exactly what I wanted to do. They're, they're talking about the displays. Ported mods, centralized storage. Now, this isn't it. This isn't it either. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to find it eventually. It's, this is going to... I'm going to poke at this until I find it. So, let me see here. Mm-hmm. Um, Skyrim Extended had a really cringe... Uh, you're talking about the Skyrim Main Quest Extended thing? It had a really cringy trailer. I, I really hope that it's a success, despite... The trailer, which did not inspire me. Uh, let me see. Setting. Okay, I'll live another life config. And I'm like any other start. Solitude, Guildmaster, any other start. Was, yeah. 
Uh, there we go. So, any other start was it? Yes. Good, good. Um, let's see. I'm trying to start living the life. Good, good. Uh, Helgen Reborn config. Is Helgen Imperial or Strong Cloak? No. Uh, still looking at this. Legacy quests. Gym quests. Uh, yeah, so there we go. So there's all the different uh, stages of the different quests. Supported mods. Clockwork. Moonpath to elsewhere. So on. Undeath. Worm's Tooth. 3D NPC quests. Vigilant quests. So yeah, there's... Like, this tracks everything. Absolutely everything. Let me see here. All right. Well, we have to go back to Riverwood now. It's funny that this little section is going to get uh, torn down, like this whole banner here, because yeah, uh, this is going to get replaced with a door leading to a different section when we expand the gallery a bit. Looks like everything's good here. We don't have access to the safe house yet, but we're going to have a chat with Arian when we have a chance. What time is it anyway? It's two in the morning. Great. Uh, well, let's just dive into one of these beds and here. This owned, owned. I should be able to sleep in one of them. No, all the beds are owned. I have a feeling this will clear up when I um when I actually um be funny if I could sleep in his bed, but no, he's got his own fancy bed. That's kind of funny. Uh, doesn't matter though. I, I definitely don't have access to the safe house at the moment. So, um, can't you set ownership? I'm sure I could, but, uh, I've got 44 displays right now and we, we've got to fill more of the gallery. Let's just head on out. I suppose we're not tired yet. We actually slept on the, uh, wagon here. Not that big a deal. I just wanted to, I've been looking oh, for you. hello. Got something I'm supposed to deliver your hands only. Really? Let's see here. I have a letter here for you. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Riches beyond imagining. I found these words inscribed in ancient dwarven ruins in the Reach. I believe they mark the entrance to a forgotten city. My brother went in a few days ago and hasn't returned. I need someone I can count on to go in after him and bring him back alive. I've heard great things about you, which is why I'm asking for your help. I'll be waiting for you in the ruins. Please hurry. And remember, riches beyond imagining. Yes. Cassia. All right, Cassia. Let me go. Um, see, it's it's a mod called The Forgotten City, right? Uh, let me see here. Uh, a lot of people don't realize that uh, The Forgotten City is um a, like the the guy made the mod and then he stopped updating and people are like why aren't you updating anymore it's because number one it's it was complete it was a short one and number two uh he's working on an actual game which is going to be like a super super expanded version of it travel two thousand years into the past and relive the final moments of a cursed roman city where if one person sins everyone dies uh, each secret uncovered, uh, make the decision to uh, save 26 lost souls caught in a cursed cycle or doom them forever. Can you break the loop? Yep. Did our downfall a thousand times, but it still breaks my heart to hear the truth of it. Take a look at this wondrous place. Complete strangers brought together by the fates to live out our days in a paradise we can never leave. And in all our time together, not a single crime has been committed. Our bond is as simple as it is terrifying. If even one person commits a sin here, Every last one of us will die. We've come to call it the Golden Rule. Every moment we're walking on eggshells, and I have grown more and more afraid that our time in the sun is almost up. 
Someone is about to break the golden rule. I need you to talk to my people, help them win their trust, figure out who is about to end our lives. And by any means necessary, stop them. If all else fails and our darkest fears are realized, I will use my dying breath to give you a second chance. The fate of this city is in your hands. There we go. So, yeah, that's the Forgotten City. It's coming soon. It's supposed to be coming out, uh, you know, winter. And uh, it's already getting there. So, who knows? Maybe maybe it'll come out this year. Or maybe it'll come out early next year. Who knows? But, uh, uh, yeah, that this is the, um, you know, Skyrim Forgotten City. Uh, the mod got turned into a um um got turned into a game yes all right there we go uh my goodness he said is this a is it a skyrim mod? this is a skyrim mod and that's going to be a game a full-on uh game there so yes exactly oh my goodness um no it was a terrible pun wasn't wasn't punny at all not me all right well, that's that. Let's go ahead and uh, uh, it said uh, ooh, moving on. Yes. A forgotten city. They... Yeah. Indoril's unfortunate because it's, it's still shackled to Skyrim regardless. And yet they had enough ambition to turn Skyrim into a full-on game, which is a very interesting experience. Different to Skyrim, but enjoyable, using the same assets of, as Skyrim. So I just I felt like that, uh, the people who made Enderil were selling themselves short. They could have made a full game. They really could have. All right, I just want to turn around really quick and go back in. Uh, I like how the guy just sat down. Nope, sorry. Yeah, I just want to see if I can sleep now that I left and came back. I want to see if that works. It, uh, we did that. Yes. No, I think these are all still owned. That's unfortunate. I don't want to mess with their ownership because uh, I know they actually get owned by the secret NPCs later. I just figured, oh, well, maybe I could set something up. Can, can I actually just... Um, Hold on. I have an idea. I have an idea. Here. No. It's illegal. See? Watch. Uh, you could be fined for trespassing if a guard or owner sees you. No, no. About that. Okay, you could just break into the safe house and sleep there. I'm not going to, though. This character doesn't know the safe house exists at the moment. That's fine. I think that's A-OK. -okay. Oh, a commemorative plaque. Do me. Haven't activated that yet. Now, let's get the hell out of here. We're leaving. Yes. All right. We're gonna go ahead and just uh, that for now. That is an uncomfortable question that I'd rather not have asked right now. Look at this guy. This guy's an Imperial Guard, and look at him. <laughs> He's stumbling drunk to the Blue Palace. There we go. Need something? Need something? This guy, on the other hand, yeah. There we go. Imperial discipline, yes. Uh, drunkard. Why are you a drunkard in your thing? Is that Jari Ra? Yeah, it's Jari Ra. I like how he just sits there forever. Yes. How else would you survive being a guard? That's a very good question. We're leaving. We're not spending money to stay in this damn city. That's for sure. Sell off that junk at bits and pieces. The, uh... Uh, we set the taverns to be 200 gold a night. Yep. 
All right. The drunk trooper. I'm thinking. Uh, I was thinking of um, Star Wars Dark Forces when they introduced the dark trooper, and it was supposed to be like the trump card of the Empire. And what I'm thinking is the drunk trooper. <laughs> Just like, it's the drunk trooper. Uh, and, and then, of course, you think of a drunken master in uh, in terrible Asian uh, media. You know, the, the guy who's absolutely drunk but is a, a badass at dodging stuff. And, and, and regardless, uh, like his stumbling movements have actually uh, caused him to uh, be better uh, at dodging there. Yes. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, sleep. Yes. I'm going to say we just need to sleep for five, uh, six hours should do it. Yes. Hold on. Tools, wares, and weapons. All for sale at fair price. All right. So as I was saying, um, what was that? Oh, Okay. My button for muting actually triggers something in the game. It's a bit silly. Do we need to go to Solitude? I don't think so. We need to actually head back to Whiterun. So we're going to take the wagon to Whiterun. Uh, we're going to head up. Actually, we're going to take the wagon directed to Riverwood. Yes. Hmm. Go. Okay. The carriage is the safest way to travel. Where do you want to go? Hmm. We need to go to White Run. Going straight through, or did you want to stop somewhere along the way? We actually need to stop at Riverwood, please. Thank you. Climbing back, and we'll God, be off. Eighty gold to get there. Annoying, but that's how it is. Sun feels good, huh? Yep. Right. Probably oh, a good idea for the Dark Trooper weapon to be the perfect counter to Dark Troopers. The first boss uh, can't uh, defend if you use the repeater. Yes. It's true. Oh, do I dual boot Linux or is everything run on Linux? I dual boot. I have exactly three programs I run in Windows. Genshin Impact. Vermintide 2. And Phasmophobia, three video games. All my work-related stuff can be done in Linux. All my uh, YouTube slash Twitch video editing can be done in Linux. Um, everything uh, can be done in Linux other than uh, those games with anti-cheat or uh, Phasmophobia requires the... Um, uh, what is it called? Um, Phasmophobia requires the... Um, Brenda, I'm blanking on it. Hold on. Um, it requires Cortana's voice recognition. That's that's why it needs it. Yeah. But I mean, I have the cell phone version of Genshin Impact, so I I, I don't really need to boot into Windows unless I'm streaming Genshin Impact, if that makes sense. There we go. Vermintide Two is a lot of fun. I agree. All right, let me see here. We need to go get that. We need to get everything that was in that. Small village, but we work hard and take care of our own. I don't care, Girder. This is the second time you've told me that. I'm less interested now in your Nord way of life than I was the last time. Holy crap, Girder. Okay. Uh, we're going to take everything from the cache. We're going to leave the cache there. Could destroy the cache, I believe, if we want. Um, did I just break the game? Oh, no. I, I thought it... Uh, what uh, video editing software to use for Linux? Um, I was trying DaVinci Resolve, but Caden Live does everything I need it to. So, And I have presets set up for it. So, yeah. Caden Live... The, don't use the version that comes with Kubuntu, though. Update. Update to the newest version of Caden Live. It's pretty mandatory. Um, also, make sure you enable... Um, uh, what do you call it? Um, geez, what is it called? Um, proxy clips. 
you need to enable proxy clips otherwise uh it won't work well and other video editors just kind of do that normally but caden live uh as you set it up which is eh, kind of weird oh well um either way it's um they're all features that are built into the program so just something to keep in mind yes i would never want to use blender sorry there's reasons for that all right Let's see here. Do, uh, honestly, for what I do, and I'm not saying this is universally true, but for what I do specifically, Caden Live is a better version of Sony Vegas in almost every way. So, uh, like it, it had for me at least it has the same general workflow of Sony Vegas like the same uh uh presets and profiles are all uh, there like I've set them up so um it's very simple to use straightforward and um I just drag the clips in and then it's more or less set up from the last time I set it up So, uh, very easy to get stuff done. I, I need to process, like, th th this is, uh, like, eight hours worth of uh, collectibles all just shoved into one little space. Like, oh, my God. So. Right, we are no longer over-encumbered, thank goodness. Yes. Now we need to take specific things, like our lockpicks. And our money. Oops. That's our money. Uh, let's see here. Silver septums. Let's take those back. Uh, what about gold septums? Gold. Gold septums. There we go. Else. Uh, that should do it for that. Everything else I think has been handled. Yeah, everything else has been handled. We don't have to worry about it. All right, let's save the game and continue. So, uh, did you, who, yes. Hmm? That'll do it. Now, we have to run to White Run and take the uh, wagon there, and that'll get us to where we need to go, which is back to Solitude to. Turning all the stuff Fandle has. Fandle has that, that entire stock of stuff we've been storing in that hunter's cache. Kind of a big deal. The birds are chirping. Isn't it beautiful? The birds have stopped chirping. They all flew away. Wait. Is that bird... Can that bird be shot? <laughs> that, that's, that's my first uh, question. Can that bird be shot? Don't worry about it too much. All right. Yep. Uh, do, do, do. If it enter and E at the same time. Well, I mean, you could do enter E and uh, click at the same time. You could do all three. You just have to know how to do it. That's all. It's possible with my how big my hands are. We're just running down this side path here. Yep. Bam. Store all of your equipped items by accident. Yeah, that is very possible. And shouldn't be too much of a problem. Uh, if you just grab it back anyway. Uh, well, I can actually hit E and enter with one hand using the pinky and the thumb. And then I could be clicking with the other hand. That's how big my hand is. I can reach across the entire keyboard. All right. Why don't you play basketball? You, you know, it's funny. 
I did in school. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's go this way. Do 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 do. Only six five. Don't worry about it. Everyone else was like five foot. I I just yeah. It was kind of funny. Yes. That's true. I'm six five, yes. Need a ride? Where do you want to go? Alright, let's get back to freaking straight through, solitude. Want to stop somewhere along climb and back and we'll be I keep off. spending money. Solitude's a big port town. Travel. Full of sailors and their tales of faraway lands. Most of them's foreigners and liars, of course. Foreigners and liars, but both we don't really care about. We don't care about foreigners and liars. Even if they're telling the truth, they're a foreigner, who cares? You wake up as the carriage grinds to a halt. Uh, successfully slept. Bangdal appears! Yeah. More like an Altmer compared to the other races. The winking skeevers got warm beds and cold mead. You look yes. like you could use both. Indeed. Get away from me. <laughs> All right. Carriage ride is right, it's like a cheaper in that moves. You figured it out. You figured it out. You see, I um, I knew this to begin with. I just didn't say anything. I, I'm I'm glad you you finally figured it out. <laughs> oh yes. Okay. Oh hello. Yep. It's Henry. How are you? Oh okay, I guess. It's hard with father gone. I really miss him. I wish I were older. Then I'd join up with the Legion and get my revenge on those Stormcloak rebels who killed father. Yes. Damn right. Hey, wanna play tag? <laughs> Okay. See, Henry has to has to get revenge for his uh, destroyed town, don't you know? Against those humans. Uh, I mean, uh, elves. Uh, Stormcloak. Stormcloak. Sorry. Um, the the humans are basically the elves of uh, <laughs> of hungry, hungry Henry. The game. Uh, let me see here. Uh, <laughs> Ah, uh, yes. All right, we're going to do what we set out to do in the first place, and that's uh, process everything into the gallery. This may take some time, but we need to do it. We desperately need to do this. So, uh, Fang Doll needs to get in here. Let me see here. Uh, museum shipments. Yes, we need to set up museum shipments. Uh, we need them in front of inns and in front of carriages. Yes. Now shipments are available. We can send them to the gallery. Really cool. I'll show you how it works later. For now, Bangdal. I must take everything. And now we must process. This is why uh, everything takes forever. It's going to take a moment. Are there shipments? The, the shipments get put in front of inns and in uh, wagons. And you just interact with the shipment. And anything you put in it, next day will get shipped off to the gallery. So you don't have to go back to the gallery to actually send stuff back. It'll just kind of end up in this crate here at the gallery. And um, then you can sort, take your time and sort it later. You don't have to store it on your follower in some obscure location. Now, we're, we're going to be a couple minutes here. Just kind of standing here as our uh, all the items get processed into the gallery. It's kind of a big deal processing everything in the gallery because it means that uh, we'll, we'll look back and it's like, you have so many items. Things have changed. Skyrim is different now. 
which it will it'll happen. We'll get a, a letter saying, uh, "Hey, you need to access this thing here." That uh, the hat is too high. Yes, yes, the hat is definitely too high. Hey, Aryan, how's it going? Greetings. Uh, what's next? Very simple. You keep doing what you're doing and stop in here from time to time if you find anything interesting. Have a look around and find a spot to display it. I will commission and build exhibits based on those exploits. Anything of relevant consequence can be inspiring to the people. Well, here in the Hall of Heroes is where you should place any artifact of magical or historical nature. The Daedric Gallery, of course, is where anything related to the Daedra should go. And the Hall of Lost Empires is where you should display any and all items of Dwemer or Falmer nature. The armories you can display as you see fit. Lastly, the Gallery of Natural Science. If you bring some samples of flora and fauna, you can build fauna displays and plant the flora. Horse greet. What? Ah, I'm glad you're here. I have come across a rare discovery. Skullcrusher. I got word of a unique relic and was able to procure it from the cellar. Skullcrusher. Use it if you wish or place da, it on da, da. Draco, thank you for uh, gifting that sub. I appreciate it. The Barber. That's a book. Still. Everything's being sorted into the gallery. Very good. Very good. No big deal here. Uh-huh. Let's see. Arian's explanations of lore get super messy. Well, yes. And it gets a bit silly at the end when you you meet with a Herald of Akatosh. And, and yeah, it's... um. It's silly, but I'm willing to buy into it just for the fun, for the for the lulls, for, for the the lulls. Yes, uh, doesn't matter. Let's see, miscellaneous items. Thinking, I'm thinking of a number. Uh, let's put this all this in the sort chest and regret it later. Here we go, sort chest time, everybody. Hook sword. Bow knives. See, this is this is where we have a lot of fun. We have to put away things. The sort chest. Yes. Be grabbing this stuff later for sure. Need to pay attention to it now. God, the skull crusher needs to be processed in the gallery. I, where does skull crusher go? Is it in the hall of oddities? Or I'm considering this. There's got to be a place for it that is uh, different. So we'll, we'll figure it out in a moment or two. But for now, we just have to put this stuff away. So, uh, like Ambriel. Oh, God. <laughs> Ambriel the princess with his all its Star Wars references. Um, oh, uh, uh, you mean where the where the Navarine was a dragonborn? Well, I mean, he uh, the prophecy did say he was dragonborn, but what that actually meant was he was born of the empire which is the dragon he was basically born in the empire and not in Morrowind he was an outlander and there, there he was not born in Morrowind to begin with that's that's what the the line in the prophecy of him being dragon born meant unfortunately you know pe people in the lore community sometimes like to take it literally and say he was dragon born uh, the, 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 we were playing a dragonborn all along in 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 our game of Morrowind, and uh, that's that's why um, stuff like that happens. All right. Uh, either way, keep all the potions. Who we are putting away most of the food. Yep. We'll grab this a bit later. So much raw meat. It'll all get put in an ice box. That's the funny part. Yes. Okay. Uh, hey, Momo. We crashed around the eight-hour mark, and uh, that's about it. So uh, it's been an hour since then, and no problems. All right. Let me see. Uh, doo -doo. We're gonna grab all the soups. Those are the food. Yes. Water. 
keep water as well. Uh, let's see. Water bottle. Ingredients. Yes, we need to put away all the ingredients. Keep going. It wasn't a straight up crash, more uh, a program freeze. Which happens from time to time in the special edition. I noticed. Let me see here. Bad lore is finding mods because it's something they're allowed to do with fan fiction. It's only a problem for you when you find the crazy ideas of people on Reddit who argue it's the true canon. Well, I mean. To be fair, Elder Scrolls canon is pretty terrible to begin with. I would highly recommend people who, like, really, really love the Elder Scrolls for its deep and complex lore. Go go check out the um, Forgotten Realms for a bit. Just just forget Elder Scrolls exists and go, go read some Forgotten Realms novels. And, and you'll, you'll realize pretty quickly why... Um, the Elder Scrolls are fun games, but the lore is very, very basic. And it, it, it diverges in certain ways, especially around Morrowind. But then it immediately hard uh, hard pivots back into boring again um, after Morrowind. And that's just an unfortunate reality that we have to live with. So... Um, you said Baldur's Gate novels? <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, Alright. Well, either way. Uh, gold Septum. See my Silver Septums too. Hold on. Silver. Silver Septums. Give me all of them. Good. So. You also say Dragon Lance. Uh, Oh, Dragon Lance is is something special. Is my eye glowing? Oh, it's the the gla the monocle. The monocle is glowing. Oh God, I, I'm uh, I was afraid for a second that how uh, screwed up that was. It's fine. Um, as long as you don't go and um, there, there's something you should never do, and that is go watch the. Do not do not. Watch the Dragonlance cartoon and think that's representative of the Dragonlance books. Don't do it. Don't watch the cartoon. It's bad. Oh, nice. Uh, looks like we no got notes on a dagger here. It looks like... Um, yeah. The Baron's Eye of Mornhold had this. Okay. Uh, my goodness. Uh, Max uh, attacks. Thank you for hopping on in. Uh, we are still just hanging around the, the gallery for a few minutes because uh, we're, we're in a weird situation at the moment where we're still uh, processing things. Let me see. I think we've actually finished. So we're going to um, hit this here. And um, let's, let's go uh, downstairs and look really quick and figure out what's where. Check the exhibit halls. Curious about this. Let me see what's the, the count up to. It should be like 80 something, uh, roughly. We, let's read the curator's guide really. Uh, looks, it says 44. I don't think that's accurate. No, it's not accurate at all. It, it's more like 80 something. We don't have any Daedric relics yet. With the jade statues in its place. Uh, most of the other stuff is empty, sadly. We don't really have very much. We. Um, Head on back over here. Very good, very good. Um, once tried Ambriel, we got tired of her complaining. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Uh, it's a Hall of Lost Empires. Let's, let's, let's go back now. Um, but yeah, let me see here. Uh, either way, um, I think we'll find most of the changes downstairs in the... Um, in the armory. So, uh, there we go. Let's see here. Yep. Uh, we can see the Forsworn gear we picked up right there. We have the various steel items there. Very good. We got the iron items there. Yep. Uh, you see, Momo? Uh, look at this. 
You see the little check mark there? That's the curator's companion. It says, we've gotten that. So when you go look at an iron axe, you'll see the little check mark that indicates you got that. True. True. All right, we're leaving now. We're leaving. We're done. We just wanted to make sure this is right. Yeah, you know what's really offensive in Ambriel? She, quote-unquote, summons Talos in the flesh, and he's just a dude wearing Imperial armor. Yeah. Yes. Um, going to say, got 150 septums out of the donation box for us. 88 displays. Just, you, you asked, there it is. 88 displays. We actually do have Skull Crusher, don't we? We still have that. We still have Skull Crusher. Skull Crusher is uh Ooh, looks pretty fancy actually. How much damage does it do? It does 15. My ancient sword only does 12, but it's slower, isn't it? That's pretty fast. Okay, game, you've convinced me to give up my ancient sword. Alright? We're gonna we're gonna put the ancient sword in the um and we're just going to give it to Feindal for now. Uh, it looks like we have a fuzzball here. Hold on a second. Wait, we have an issue. We have an issue. Yes, it looks like we are being told things by the fuzzball here. So as you can see, we've got a fuzzball. And uh, he's got things to say. Uh, maybe he has nothing to say. I don't know. But uh, it's kind of a big deal. Kind of a big deal. Yes. Uh-oh. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. Really? Meow? Yeah. Okay. Well then, what we're going to do is we're going to grab this, and we're going to put it over here. He's going to be like... Go on. Yes. The neighbor cat... Uh, look, the window's open. Yes. The window's open. The neighbor's cat came to say hello. So, we deliver the food. Very good. Yes. Okay. okay. This is the neighbor's cat, not mine. My cat lives upstairs, not in this little area where I stream. So the, the neighbor's cat gets in through the window and decides to show up on the stream. Uh, according to the neighbor, the cat's name is <clears throat> Mr. Sir. Yes. Named by a three-year-old. I think he does fit a Mr. Sir, I believe. Oh. Yes. Yes. Oh, really? Okay. 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 Asked for another one. Here we go. Now, I suppose we should get back to playing the video game. That should happen. Um, look at the time, and no, we we don't have to kick him out. Very good. He got in through the window like a gentleman. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. Uh, there we go. Come on. Come on. He's... <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> He's trying to to get me. There we go. All right. Yeah, he's he's being a monk. Now push him away. All right, here we go. Uh, what I was gonna do? I was gonna give Feindal the um. I'm gonna give Feindal the ancient sword because I have the skull crusher now, which seems to be the go-to weapon. For the moment, it, it's definitely very, very strong. Now we need a new lightning spell. So we're going to head over to the Blue Palace. What time is it? It's 8 p.m. And we should still be able to do it at 8 p.m. That shouldn't be a problem. So uh, let's head over and have a chit chat with the vampire lady. And she should be able to um, uh, give us a lightning spell like lightning bolt. That is a warrior? 
That's... You're a palace guard? That's not right. I've seen palace guards who have a lot more armor than that. As in they're like decked out in full imperial armor. She's wearing fantasy skimpy armor. That, that's inconsistent. Seems like... If you need potions, yeah. Head over to Angeline's aromatic. Dude, I mean, she's got the, the bikini armor. And you got this palace guard. Look at her. Okay? Like, night and day. Yeah. It's, it's night and day between the two of them. Holy shit. Okay, then. And talk about the uniform. Uh, I guess she's just the troublemaker? I, I, I don't know. <laughs> because they're uh they're a bit more uh the emperor's cousin Vittoria Vici is getting married soon there we go the reception will be public I'm sure it will be if you come to file another complaint I won't deign to hear it if my presence is that much of an issue tell it to the steward everyone whines and moans about how loosely I flap my tongue as if vain Ericure's eccentric love life were not a matter of public knowledge. And for the last time, I am not a Thalmor agent here to destabilize the court. You're thinking of my terribly unfashionable twin sister, Mithriel. My name, on the other hand, is Mithriel, and I am both an attendant of the court and someone worthy of your confidence. Goodbye. Then. Yes. Uh, about, about that. <laughs> uh, oh my goodness. Uh, that was that was something. That was definitely something. All right. Uh, hey, Queen Elisif, how you doing? Please don't interrupt the court. Unnatural magics. Are really? From that cave. There are strange noises and lights. We need someone to investigate. Then we will immediately send out a legion to scour the cave and secure the town. Hathengar's people will always be safe under my rule. Your Eminence, my scrying has suggested nothing in the area. Dragonbridge is under Imperial control. This is likely superstitious nonsense. Perhaps a more tempered reaction might be called for. Okay. Oh, yes, of course, you were right. Falk, tell Captain Aldous I said to assign a few extra soldiers to Dragonbridge. Thank you, Jarl Elisif. But about the cave? I will have someone take care of the cave as well, Varnius. You can rest easy. Okay. You're dismissed. Right. If you have business, please see Falk Firebeard, my steward. With the passing of my dear husband, Torig, the weighty position of Jarl has fallen to me. Please direct questions to my steward. So, why did Ulfric even kill your husband in the first place? Because that's what traitorous cowards do when they desire power. Ulfric coveted the High King's throne. He thought he deserved it more than Torig. And so he came before my husband and he... He shouted. With that terrible voice. Like something out of a legend. Or a nightmare. Okay. When Ulfric unleashed such fury... My husband, he... He simply ceased to be. That is all I will say. For it grieves me to speak of it. Imagine if that were true. Now, we, we talk to Ulfric later, and when we talk to Ulfric, he'll say, no, I just I just uh, shouted him against the wall and stabbed him with my sword, right? That's um, That was the story Ulfric says. But imagine if it were true, just the idea that his word alone could just destroy the man, or rip him to pieces, like a, a, as she says, you know, just, just causes him to cease to be. That would be really scary. And it would mean Ulfric would be able to, um, uh, how do I put this? Um, it, it would definitely, uh, not, not like Thor Torg was deleted necessarily, but the whole shouted him apart thing, you know, it, would Ulfric be a dragon ball? Nah, don't worry about it. We, we, we have a boring uh, binary quest choice for you. You side with the Empire or the Stormcloaks? Yes. Goodbye. Be well. Pray for solitude and my husband. Of course, but I need to talk with the vampress. I mean, uh, wait, is she up here? Or did she leave? She left. She left while I was talking to Elisif. Okay. Elisif's a liar. Yeah, exactly. And what might you need? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Hey, does anyone care if I take this fish? 
You don't? Okay, goodbye. Uh, museum acquired fish. Excellent. Uh, we need to go upstairs. Upstairs, upstairs, upstairs. No. Should. Wait, who are you? Can you not see I am resting? Can you not? Oh, for the divine sake, are you daft? Wow. Okay, then. Uh huh. Heard a cough. There's a spider in there. Be trusted. The spider sees me. It's probably her scrying. Oh, a, uh, a fish. Another one of those. Is that the town crier? Yes, the town crier is responsible for some amazing stuff. Why is there a potion of blood and a blood extractor here? Those fall out of the bookcase? That'd be hilarious if they did. That would be extremely funny if uh, they fell out of the bookcase. Yes, hear ye, hear ye. That's the guy. I heard someone sniffle just. Someone's watching me. I hear something. I'm almost certain this thing's going to report me. The, the spider, I mean. For anything I do. Don't see her right. I'm trying to find. Okay, that's the steward's chambers. I don't want to go to the steward's chambers. I want to try to find the. Um, the vampire lady. Secret passage? I don't think so. I know that when you open this cabinet, like that's her normal cabinet, then there's a, uh, uh, the other cabinet is uh, like blood. Yeah, you can see the blood on the wall there. Like uh, if you open it up, it's just like her feeding trough, basically like tons of uh, stuff to eat. Uh, cannibal stuff. Yeah. I remember that. Disgusting. But no. I think she's supposed to be around here somewhere. It makes me question where she might be hanging out. You know, I'd be a lot warmer and a lot happier with a belly full of mead. Yeah, Elisif's chambers are back here. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, Elisif's chambers are behind the throne. Yes, so, so she doesn't actually have to come out to the rest of the palace there. She stowed skeletons in there, probably. I'm trying to figure out where the vampire lady went. I think she, you know, she might be in the uh, chambers with everyone else over here. In the, uh, in the parlor. Yeah, she might be in the parlor. Okay, let's see. Kitchen, uh, she wouldn't be in the kitchen and laundry hall. Unless she's walking the streets. She does strike me as a street walker uh, at times. Sink, find a, a young person to sink her fangs into. Let's see. She must be feeding in the prison. You think so? I mean, we could go check it out. There's an old prison here before Castle Dower was built. Let's see, we're in the kitchen. The bloom is insane here. Stop it. Stop blooming all over the place. But yeah. Back to the parlor. I'm just looping around. I'm very loopy. Oh, ooh, some spiced wine. Take it. Don't drink it. Take it. Is that money for me? Thank goodness. We need more of that. Bring in Elisif's ear. You think she went in with Elisif? Okay, I, I do have to kick this cat out. He's he's uh, he's a cute little boy, but he's also very demanding. He's he wants attention, so uh, I, I can't provide him attention and stream at the same time. So we're gonna have to uh, point him to the exit in a moment. Here's oh, I hear the spider there. Everyone's asleep. Wait, okay, I see. While well, she's as while well, everyone else is asleep, she's out and about on the in on the town. Yes. Uh, okay, you have to understand something. He's doing this. He's he's hitting me with his paw. Okay. He, he's he's actually um, quite the monster. Right. He's quite the monster. That. Yeah. Do that. 
Yes, meow. Exactly. He, he's, uh, you see the, there you go. Exactly. Yes. All right. I'm gonna pause the game before he does something. Okay. Uh huh. Yes. Let's go. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Stop it. Stop doing it. Okay. There we go. Now, uh, let's see here. I guess during the day, uh, court hours is all the time. And yeah, yes, so long. I don't know. Uh, do, 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 let's go back in here really quick and see if she's... Yeah, she's not in her bed. Her bed is owned and she's not in it. In fact, there's stuff all over her bed indicating it never gets used. I hear someone downstairs sleeping. Sound kind of... Oh, jeez. Hold on. This bookcase requires a key. Oh, troll slang. Let's, let's pick that up. Spider doesn't... Steal it. That's better. Uh, still, I guess we'll just have to sleep somewhere and wait until uh, we can talk to her because we can't leave the town without it, really. She has a coffin in the blue palace. Let's go downstairs. See what's down there. there. Might be a secret room or something where she's hanging out. Just thinking of a bat upside down. Here's the old dungeon. All right. This is the, before Castle Dower took over the dungeons. This was the old dungeon. Got the wardrobes, gloves, and other things. We'll have some sliced cheese. It's a, a good little thing to eat. Steel plates. Don't want to steal tankards thing. Looking. This. Horker attacks. Don't need it. Oops. My bad. We're still checking the different rooms. Go. A dungeon with beds is better than the average Skyrim in. No, no, th this is the old dungeon. It's been repurposed into a kind of hall for everyone. It used to be a dungeon. Now it's some sort of uh, meeting area. How does your garrison uh, survive? They, that, this is where all the palace guards obviously live. In the old dungeon. A bit ridiculous. Oh. Solitude Sewers Canal works. Uh, Jace. Not sure I want to go there. In fact, I'm certain I don't. Solitude Sewers sound like a bad place to be. Oh, Amulet of Mara. Nice. That's definitely something that... Yep, Museum Artifact acquired. Museum of Mara. Uh, Museum of Mara, yes. It's a museum of love. All right, we got to open this thing. It's expert lock, though. We'll probably break a bunch of picks on our way there. Okay. Look, I just want her to teach me how to throw lightning bolts, okay? It's uh, it's not her fault she just disappeared before I could uh, before I could learn how to throw lightning bolts, okay? Damn. I mean, my lock picking is increasing. It's just, my God, broken picks. Air or something. Eh, yeah, I, I don't think I'm going to be able to break this open. Not at my current uh, standing. Oh, we got it. Lockpicking increase. That's what I'm talking about. Out here. Lantern. For you. I uh, need to equip the travel lantern quickly. Uh, lantern, lantern, lantern. There it is. Oh? What was that? 
Time to end this little game. Low life. Invisible low life. Okay. Prepare to die. Do your worst. Damn. Okay, this is not great. Yeah, yeah. How, how about I heal instead? He doesn't seem to want to climb on this, I notice. Come on. Let's do it. Enjoy your last breath. Yes. Ow, ow, it hurts. Yeah, she's she's gonna murder the crap out of me. Yes. She's healing so quickly. Dead! Dead, 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 dead. Look at that, I was murdered. There's only one way I know how to deal with her then. There's only one way I know how. Very simple. Very simple. Yes, that's that's my best. Except it's also flames. Why? Why? No. You got scared. Oh God! She went no, and she ran away, and then like, what the hell? How powerful is she? What what kind of amazing like what even is this? Her health regen is ridiculous, I agree. Huh. Yeah, she got me. She got me good. Time to end this little game. Okay, see she's regenerating there. Wow. He made it very dark very quickly. It was impressive. And this is not the vampire we're after. Hello? Excuse me? You're terrible at your job. Hey. Enjoy your last breath. Yeah. About that. We need to drink a quality potion of health fortification and potion of health. Very good. Excuse me. No, nah, she's kicking my ass. And she's draining my health. Oh, God. What even is this? Wow. Okay, we're leaving. We're leaving. I can't tell you about animation mods because I'm not using any, but uh, XEdit and Rybash worked perfectly. In fact, I highly recommend you... Uh, you look at my mod list now. Secret Palace Guard, you think? Well, we don't know why the lowlife has those powers. All we know is that she's frightening, and I want this potato bread. I think uh, the potato bread has made this all worth it. Yes. Okay. Very good, very good. I don't actually need farm bread. We want the potato bread. We're leaving. The vampiress was not down here. I mean, the court wizard. We're we're here to talk to the court wizard. We just want to know more there. Hmm? Did you make any tweaks to the INI? Oh, I massively lowered all of the settings in the INI uh, for discovery because I'm using Atlas map markers, which adds too many places. Um, also, don't turn like make sure experience is disabled until you have fully started the game after you've like zoned in from the alternate start. Uh, then save the game, quit the game, install experience, and then go because experience counts on completed mods to give you experience points, right? The problem is that the alternate start quest and all of the mod setup quests all count toward that and give you a ton of experience and level you up unduly. That's the best way to put it. Like you 
absolutely did nothing to deserve all those levels, though. Yes. Exactly. Four to five free levels for, you know, no reason. All right. Ooh. Anyway. Experience uh, can be installed mid-playthrough. It's no problem. Uh, you don't... Uh, as long as you don't do anything in the game, it doesn't matter. Things have issues when you... Uh, you know, your progress to level is kind of forgotten about. Oh, Bard's College, here we go. Anyway. Uh, I wonder where she is right now. Uh, yes, of course I enabled Kelly XP. Because eventually I'm going to run out of places to find. But I, I severely lowered the uh, EXP for kills. Uh, not it kills, sorry. EXP for discoveries. Let me see here. Do -do. Nope. Huh. Huh. Labor there. She thinks she's in Castle Dower. Bit off, but no lollygagging. Yeah, were they gonna let me into Castle Dower in the middle of the night? What do you need? This could be a dumb thing to do. Oh, there, there's another yes. Someone stole your high quality Imperial Guard there. Just a few more hours and I can here. Crawl under some furs. Let me go ahead and show you what I'm talking about. Like here are two Imperial Guards. All right. Uh, they're both uh, female, but but one is wearing the skimpiest iron armor you've ever seen, coupled with uh, you know. And then the other one is uh, bit late to be wandering yeah. around, isn't it? There we go. Uh, perfect, perfect. Uh, who, who knows? Who knows? All right, we're going to Castle Dower. Yes, lax uniform standards. Uh Perfect. Diversity, yes. Something like that. Um, I'd argue something else, but let's uh, go this way. I'm telling you, Ulfric's planning an attack on Whiterun. Really? He'd be insane to try. He doesn't have the men. That's not what my scouts report, sir. Every day more join his cause. Riften, Dawnstar, and Winterhold support him. It's not a cause. It's a rebellion. Call it whatever you like, General. The man's going to try to take White Run. Oh, General Balgrub. We already have this. Balgrub refuses the Legion's right to garrison troops in his city. On the other hand, he also refuses to acknowledge Ulfric's claim. Well, if he wants to stand outside the protection, what is it? Fine. Let Ulfric pillage his city. General. You people and your damn Jarls. Sir, you can't force a Nord. To accept help he hasn't asked for. If Ulfric's making a move for Whiterun, then we need to be there to stop him. Draft another letter with the usual platitudes, but this time share some of your intelligence regarding Ulfric's plans. Yes. Embellish if you have to. We'll let it seem like it's his idea. I say. Yes, sir. Yes. You Nords and your bloody sense of honor. Bloody sense sir. of honor. Yes. Uh, hold on a second. Imperial helmet, Imperial bracers, book, Imperial sword. That should be about it. I don't see any uh, relics here. That I was concerned about. I was concerned about uh, things on the shelves or in the end table. The standing stones. Interesting. There we go. Do -do. Be a war bugle in here. Really? I remember seeing one in a previous playthrough at some point. But I don't see one right now. And if there is one, it's hiding pretty well from me because not super adept at... Oh, wow. Look at that <laughs> uh, teardrop drop thing here. There. Okay. Hmm. Let me see here. Don't see anything so far. Oh, God, did you see that? Did you see Feindal? Oh, no. 
Oh no! <laughs> Holy crap! Oh, that that's some good Halloween right there. That's some good Halloween. Yes. Uh, <laughs> uh, why not? Why not? Okay. I see forever. <laughs> Let's see here. Vintage there. Don't care. Check the other room. There's multiple rooms to investigate. The guard is asleep. Which means we can... He seems to be aware of me, but he's not doing anything, which makes this extra hilarious. As I go and pick out the spiced wine. Uh, let's see. Tongs, hammer, nails. There's a sword on the wall. Sword on the wall. Silver ore just kind of sitting there for no reason. Various swords, another imperial helmet. That's a stolen goods. Hello, honor blade of coral. Well, that belongs in a museum. Hey, what happened to that honor blade of coral that we had? Well, it seems to have shown up in this museum for no reason. Really weird. It's really strange. Why is the Honor Blade of Coral in the museum again? No idea. No idea. Yes, that is that is a big. Mr. Speaker, we are for the big. All right, let's see here. What else we got? Everything's dusty. It was gifted to us from who? I wonder who gave it to us. Probably the thief. Uh, jeez. Ooh. My goodness. Well, it seems right here. For sure. It, it's obvious that this is designed to be the spot for it. Let me see here. Hmm. Let's have a look at the Honor Blade of Coral really quick. The 19 damage two-handed blade. Yes. Now we can wield it as a two-handed blade, but we prefer to have zippy zaps. See? So, uh, uh, your lantern's about half full, and that's not what I want. No. One-handed. We can use it as a one-handed sword. It's fine. Uh, mind your tricks, wizard. That's kind of funny. Uh, let me see here. Trackle, turn that off. I want to turn that off completely. I want to equip the Honor Blade of Coral and see what happens. So, it looks like we hit this one-handed. Interesting the way it's swinging like a two-handed blade regardless. Just looking at this like, okay, that's the two-handed blade. This is the one-handed version. So it seems to be doing the same animations regardless with a bit silly, and I'm trying to figure out why that is. Hmm. Oh well. It still allows us to dual wield. Uh, so if we take this, um, uh, this Warhammer of the Soil, um, and then we take the Honor Blade of Coral, and we equip them there. Yes. Sneaking? Uh-huh. Okay. Just s swing them together, it's okay. No, no need to worry about that. Okay. Uh, still wielding both of them. Really weird, because that's one-handed. And that's two-handed. So, yeah, it, it seems to be a bit off how it uh, functions. Depending on how you equip it. Fine, though. One-handed versus two-handed uh, gives it different damage types and speeds and stuff. Uh, we just want to use Skull Crusher, to be honest. 15 as opposed to 19, but faster. So. Uh, how you doing? Are you lost? Are my men now giving free reign to anyone who wanders into the castle? Do you have some reason to be here, citizen? I want to fight for the... I, I, I like my one option. Goodbye. 
I'm leaving. I'm taking this uh, hourglass with me. Game's like, fuck you, you cannot have hourglass. All right then, goodbye. Been up to the Blue Palace. It's a sight to see. Sure it is. Oh, it is filled with fops. Hold on. Still busy looking here. Zarium. Okay. RPG. What is this? Oh, intro. Penitus Oculatus armor. Oh boy. We just got, I think, a full set of Penitus Oculatus gear. That's that's really good. That's really good. Yeah, we're gonna be able to fit that all in the she uh in the shield, in the um. Red girl's dress, in the gallery there. Yes. Uh, I never found the vampire lady. I came to Castle Dower to try to find her, and instead I found a lot of things that belong in a museum. It's okay. It's okay. I'm fine with it. I mean, I mm, there's something I can do for you. Perhaps direct you to the nearest prison. Goodbye. Watch yourself. Uh. Mm, there's something I can do for you. Perhaps direct you to the nearest prison. Watch yourself. Uh, jeez. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. What do you need? Trying to go downstairs to the dungeons. Yes. The nearest prison <laughs> like i'm gonna imprison you for just walking around the castle because uh, you don't belong to our faction wolf queen okay books don't care about those let's see oh, hello i used to be an adventurer like you then i took an arrow in the knee so you took an arrow in the knee and then i stand with the storm cloaks you imperial Oh, cat, howdy, Cadams. Why don't you go ahead and look at the mod list? <laughs> All right. Uh, let's continue. So, um, otherwise, we'd be here re-explaining the same thing every day. Or right, every few minutes. Every, uh, yes. Okay. Go. Bam, bam. City of Stone. Let's go. Oh, we got three XP for that. I've already got the iron armor. Do not have the barbarian gauntlets, so that's something. It is interesting because you can see here the song of Penale is uh, there. Very good. I think that an adventurer and a soldier would carry a lot of the same physical requirements. Exactly. You'd think a. Uh, wait. Did, this is an iron helmet. We already have it in the gallery, but um, yeah. Uh, solitude hide cloak. Care about that too much. Are we uh, doing okay? So, yeah, exactly. A heir to the knee means you only go qualify as a guard or soldier now, apparently. No wonder the Empire lost the Great War. Oh no. Oh no. I mean, they didn't technically lose, but yeah, I, I agree with you. I agree with your assessment, nonetheless. Uh, oof, blood everywhere. That and you got mega powerful elves. Is it for kleptomaniacs? Yes, it's for. Oh, hello. Get away from me. Yeah, it's okay. Um, it's more for uh, collecting everything. So you see this little plus there? That means it isn't in the the museum. So uh, if we go ahead and uh, pick that up, a book of Shale Goroth. Sheogarth is the Prince of Madness. Pray to receive a random touch of madness. Pray often to receive a touch of madness. Never disrespect cheese. No. No, I, I will not accept Sheogarth into my life. Sorry. That's not happening. All right. Good. Still looking. There's a lot of different things around here. Soul gym, just kind of sitting there. 
Iron sword, iron axe. Let's see. Iron wood nuts. Go nuts. Oh, leather bracers don't have those. Let's see. Ancient sword. Pretty sure we have one of those already, but we'll get a second one. No reason not to. Our brigand plate, plate harness. We need one of those. Leather boots. Uh, some of these we don't care about. This is the evidence chest. We don't need this. Why is it? It's empty, but it has lockpick on it. I don't understand. Why do you lock it if it's empty? Oh, well. And shield's already in there. Let's see. We got a steel warhammer. That's a prisoner belongings chest. No problem there. Okay. Uh, Fangdell, I need to talk to you. I need you to take everything that I've been holding on. Very important. Yeah, the Penitus Oculatus armor. It's a big deal. I need you to handle it for now. Let's see. <laughs> exactly. Um... Uh, do, do, do. Uh, now then, as I was saying, we need to be uh, careful about this. I need my monocle back. God, my monocle. Why situation right now? We can put away the rest of the food right now. We don't have to worry about that too much. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's, that's Fandil. For a second, I freaked out, and I thought this was a guard who was looking at me in the same room. You don't need to fine yep the guard there deal area is huge oh, she's uh Trouble? who's better fan dollar spend well if you want to exploit the game system what you should it? get uh Fandel because he can train him like he can train you and then um after he trains you, you can uh, like just trade the money back. That's a, a like a little glitch in the game that you can take advantage of. Uh, the uh, patches fix that, of course, but otherwise, Fandal and Sven are basically equally incompetent. I just specifically for the purpose of this character, we care about um, Fandal because he's a fellow elf. You know, a fellow Murr and not a uh, a dirty Nord. But well, we have opinions about these. Uh, some people are born dumb. Like me, for instance. Yes. Okay. I accidentally... I should just be able to hit F4. <laughs> That's not right. There we go. Still messes with the hat. Oh well. It's uh, Sven is one of the top three weakest followers. You do realize that with EFF you can just kind of scale their level. Uh, let me see here. So the vampire lady isn't in the uh, prison either. Oddly enough, she's in Castle uh, Castle either, so she just kind of disappeared from the world. I mean, we we're we're up until midnight, and uh, we weren't able to find her. That's all well and good. I mean, we found a lot of uh, different unique items that belong uh, that we can you know pass off as relics. Let's be honest here; the uh, these aren't really relics. Yeah, I think she just vanished, uh, the vampire there. Exactly. A is for Atronach. Oh, boy. It's ABCs for barbarians. And they couldn't, they couldn't even do a, a full ABC. Uh, like, like, they couldn't even do the full alphabet. All they did was literally A, B, and C in the vanilla game. Someone... Mm, there's something I can do for you? Perhaps direct you to the nearest prison? Nope, goodbye. Hmm. <laughs> Everything all right? Oh, jeez. The general did not appreciate me being out and about in his castle. So, uh... 
How's the game not crashing with all these mods? It crashed once at the eight hour mark. That was two hours ago. Well, but those tendrils bind out yes. I fear the night because werewolves and vampires don't. Yes. Okay. Let's continue. We're moving along. Moving along. Going back into the gallery. I'm gonna process everything. I'm I'm obsessed. Ah, good day, my friend. Uh anything new for me? Oh yes. I have in fact been researching the location of an artifact of interest. If you have the time, you could investigate it. Okay. I'll mark the location on your map. Let me know if you uncover anything. Right. Good. All right, let's have a look here. Ooh. Uh, looks like... Oof. That's... That's in a Dwemer dungeon, isn't it? Or is it in the... The Spire? I forget which. That's a big deal. That's a new artifact. That we might want to look into at some point. Not right now, because we're actually adverse to certain types of combat. An outdoor shrine? Interesting. And... Uh, I'll go for it, for sure. Uh, let's see. Double checking to see. Wait, is that a book? Uh, sword case there, cabinet. Big museum guard display, yes. Uh, my goodness. All right, well, what we have to do now is we have to go over here. Oh, that's just Feindall again. Okay, Feindall, give me everything you have. Yes. Uh, my goodness. Hegronac coins? I, I don't think I do, but maybe I do. I, I don't remember. I honestly don't remember, so. Uh, you'll have to look at... Uh, um, which version I'm using, I guess. Doesn't matter. Uh, we're gonna... Let's look at the settings for the preparation table. Uh, prefer replicas, yes. Only replicas off. Tech quest items on. Thank goodness. Let's do it. Alright, so we're doing the same thing. We're just depositing everything. Oh god, I, I was slow for a second and then it just stole one of the items out of my inventory. I mean, that it probably took Skull Crusher. To, yeah, it took Skull Crusher. And nope, Skull Crusher's still here. Um... Oh, Crusher's mine. So it's the honor it took the honor blade of coral out of my inventory. That's why. That's fine. That's fine. Happy about that. Um, point is, I still have Skull Crusher, and I like I like Skull Crusher a lot. It's uh, lets me punk people. Uh, either way, we should be good to go soon. I'm looking at this. An uh, uh, Umbra knockoff. That'd be funny. Aryan should be wanting to talk to me soon at the rate I've been collecting stuff. Because we're already at 95 displays. Yep, 96. You can see the way it's just increasing now. I guess I should put paintings up. Think of it. Uh, please wait for the scan option to come. Okay. So, how many paintings do I actually have? That's the question. Should have a few. I have five paintings. Okay, so I can I can put paintings up. That's good. Yep. Uh, 111 new displays. But we put a painting up. Elisif. That's that's classic Elisif. Hallow Shrine. I, I should be against that personally, but I will accept it. For the purposes of my own advancement, I can disregard the uh, Nord God for now. Ugh. My throat's getting a bit offy there. Hmm. There we go. I'm following Ariel currently. I'm not saying I'll be following Ariel the entire playthrough. I'm just saying he gives you faster skill learning, and I thought that was kind of fancy. And besides, he's just kind of the de facto person to follow at the moment. Uh, while you're thinking about who you want to follow. So, uh, yes. You said you're putting Talos in a museum where he belongs because he's going to be history. Oh, my goodness. 
Uh, that that's some. Uh, yes, exactly. What's this character's favorite book? Probably the Talos mistake. Uh, something like that. Most. Oh my god. Um. As long as we don't have to deal with any more dirty Nords. Let's see. Aryan's asleep. Aryan. Yes. Uh, I have too much stuff. That's, that's an option now. That is actually an option now. Is I have too much stuff. Uh, I, I'm gonna. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Oh no 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 no. 116 displays. Yeah. Got 116. That's that's a something. Let me go ahead and save it before I head on out. Going back to solitude. Okay. Uh, there should be a guy coming to meet with me in a second. Like, um, yeah, we're, we're just waiting for a courier, exactly. We just want a courier to show up. I think, uh, yeah, there's a lot of people here. Fine day, isn't it? And Jaren's there. How should we best get Please to a, get a courier to come to us? That's the question. What level? We're level five. Yes, level five. Go to another town. That's irritating. You think the courier would find me twice, but yes. Oh, you said uh, you remember the mod that changes the sex of the Talos statue? Well, I mean. There, um, there's a mod that flat out gives you female Ulfric, uh, custom voice acted. So, um, yeah, I mean, kind of hilarious to sleep the night. Mm hmm. Well, I, I'm not sleeping here. We're, we're leaving town. Yeah, well, thankfully, nothing will ever replace the greatest. Yes, I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure. Uh, but nothing, nothing can stop the greatest of, of the heroes, Ulfric Stormquack. Okay, there's business. Ulfric Stormquack is amazing. Absolutely worth it. Yes. I, I didn't actually buy this. It was sent to me. All right. Let's take a nap here. This is my tent. Your bedroll. Damn right. Damn right, my bedroll. Sleep for uh, eight hours, and then we'll uh, go see the couriers trying to attack me. Yes. How many mods? Uh, well, I have uh, 444 plugins currently. Yes. If it's arms or armor you need, see Bayrand in Castle Dower. Bloody good blacksmith, that one. Let's keep going. In theory, we should have a courier around, Speak, elf. around here somewhere. I've been looking for you. Really hired bodyguard. Damn. That, that's random. Just ran to the middle here and... What do you want, little elf? Well, I'm trying to figure out what the hell you're doing. I'm out of it. Dari Ra, sitting there. If, hmm, if you ever want to replace those old rags, stop by Radiant Raiment. Remember Radiant Raiment when you need a change of attire. Uh-oh, it's coming. Everyone, it's happening. We, we have to follow this guy because uh, it's serious business now. All right? We're about to hear the news. This is how news is conveyed. 
We don't have a, a TV or the internet. No, no, no. We have this guy. Yeah. So we're, we're gonna walk with him. We're gonna look. I've got a little work news. If you're interested, traveler. No, Jari Ra. We're gonna we're gonna listen to the news. Here we go. Need something? Yes. Everyone's gathering to hear the news. Or not. I'm seeing where he uh, ends up. Oh no, he's going to the tavern. Okay. He, he, does he go to the tavern first and then uh, share the news? Interesting. There's one reliable source, the good old times. No no fake news, yes. In news, nothing happens in Skyrim. Basically, yes. This isn't a good time. Oh, a suspicious bard there. Look at her. You're right, nothing does happen. I'm afraid I'm running errands at the moment, but please visit me later at the Temple of the Divines. I see, but what kind of dagger is that? Take a look. What do you have for sale? Oh god! Bone spirit consuming power? Circle of strength? Wild healing, uh, let's see, welling blood, lesser undead, solar ray. Holy crap. <laughs> solar ray. Wow. <laughs> what even? <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. Yes. It, you say 10 in total, but you have to understand what it does to vampires. Okay? Yeah. Uh, it, it, that is an anti-vampire move. Yes. God, what even? Bone spirit. Blessed are those who worship, for they know true grace. Sure. I suppose I should visit the shrine as well. And look at the temples, of, uh, the shrines of the divines. I thought adventurers were supposed to look tall. Yeah, I should do that right now. I, I should go uh, pay my respects to the heathen gods of the uh, empire. Yep. Ah <laughs> oh, no, ah oh, no. At the very least, it'll copy the uh, shrines into the um, into the gallery when I visit them. Are you? I. I. Okay. That's fine. Hello. Blessings of the eight divines upon you. How may I help? Hmm. You look troubled. Have you come seeking guidance? Those who worship at the shrines will sometimes receive boons from the gods themselves. The nature of the favors varies per deity. Please feel free to worship at any or all of the shrines. I see. One of the alcoves is empty. Hmm? Oh, yes. That once held the shrine to Talos. But the worship of Talos was banned by the White Cold Concordat some time ago. It's the peace treaty that ended the war with the elves of the Almeri Dominion. The Dominion recognized the heresy of proclaiming Talos a god. Talos was a great man and a great emperor, but that does not make him a god. No matter how much the Stormcloaks may wish it were so. Exactly. I'm glad you understand that. The strong and honorable always carry the blessing of the eight. Trust me when I say you will want to steer clear of me. Feel free to take a seat. A Mur who does not know his own heritage is no better than these savages. Wow. Wow. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, yeah, suddenly Altmer. By the way, look at this. This enchanted chest. There's no way to unlock it. Yes. All right. The Shrine of Mara. Uh, let's see. Divine Mother. Uh, pray to remove diseases and poisons. That's actually really good. Uh, oh, God. What is this? Shrine map. Is this a what? Oh God! What? Paladin's pilgrimage. I've received a vision from the divines and a map uh, of the shrines I should visit in my pilgrimage. I must pray to the eight divines. 
as well as Finister Ma Ma uh, Magnus, if you're uh, sure, uh, and, and Penel White Strike. Well, it seems something is happening here. Oof, my goodness. I wonder if it's connected to this uh, sealed chest. Obviously, Julianos uh, lets you cast spells for less magicka. Uh, raise your stats there. Let me see what else we got. Um, yes. Uh, Penny on White's Drake as an Altmer. Yes, that sounds like a terrible idea. Let's see. Akatosh is a god of time. Uh, increased damage against dragons. Fulfill your destiny by saving Tamriel. Uh, let's see. I like how uh, I, I'm, I'm completing these anyway. I, I'm completing these despite not praying at the actual uh, thing, internalized racism. Oh my god, that's fucking hilarious. Sorry. Penel White Strike is a guy who came from, uh, like, basically a star made knight. He descended upon the world. And in the name of Alicia, he. Oh, he went on a genocide of the Aeliad, the Wild Elves. And uh, it, it's not that he killed a bunch of Wild Elves, it's that he kept killing Wild Elves. Just kept killing them. And uh, he, he didn't stop. It was, um, it was a genocide. So, uh, yeah, he's considered one of the most uh, badasses. Of, uh, yeah, the Elder Scrolls, basically. Yeah, all right. Almost the done. Saved me from the streets. Oh, they, they saved you from the streets, eh? Uh, let's see. Uh, very good. Uh, Zenithar is uh, learn, cr improve crafting skills and learn them faster. That's really good. They, can save you from your trials as well. they saved you from the streets? Okay. Makes sense to me. <laughs> As she spins around to give you a good view. Holy shit. Okay. Uh, let me see here. Regenerate health when weakened. Uh, can perform RK rites on the dead. That's actually really cool. So when someone dies, you perform a rite on their corpse. That's RK worship, I guess. And then, of course, Stendar is reduced damage from Daedra and Undead. Clear Dungeons of Evil. Slay Daedra and Undead. Uh, complete side quests. And never summon. Never do foul summoning arts. Okay. So we've prayed to all the divines at this shrine here. There seems to be an anonymous note that says, if you seek the void, then go to Widow's Watch. So apparently if we go to Widow's Watch, we'll be able to um, get a tallow shrine if we need. But if we look here at the pal uh, Paladin's p Pilgrimage, we need the Penel White Strike Shrine, uh, Shrine of Shior, and Shrine of Yifri. So... Uh, that's interesting. Exactly. Fantasy racism is the best kind of racism. It's true. Um, is there a way to open this chest with just a divine shrine? Or... I don't think so. Oh, well. doesn't matter. Um, I was going to say, was it Julianos or uh, Zenithar? I think it was Zenithar. RK? RK blessing, you think? Okay. Uh, 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 okay. The RK blessing should... Uh, Lock the chest. Yes, it did. And we got the Sword of the Crusader. Excellent. So, uh, yep. That's good. We, Guardians of the Divine. Okay, now we got another quest to get the other, uh, look for additional text concerning the Lost Relics of the Nine. And then, uh, yeah, here we go. That's, that's good. The Arcrae Shrine allowed us to get the Sword of the Crusader from this. Yeah. Uh, we just needed the, the proper shrine. And then the attempt. We're special. We're all. We're, we're, we're a special person. The video game where you're the chosen one. Don't you know? Uh, let's see. Yes, Penel White Strike was the original Divine Crusader. Correct. Wine case. Got. Oh, the Wolf Queen. That actually 
gallery right now. The biography of Baron Zion needs to go in the gallery. Oh my goodness, we're getting so many things. I, I did a dodge roll. This. The armor kills you if you try to equip it as an elf. Uh, unfortunately, Oblivion basically cemented that it doesn't matter if you're an elf or not. Because Oblivion had you become the next Divine Crusader. Blessings of the eight divines upon you. How may I yeah. help? Sorry about that. I just need to run up here. Have you come seeking guidance? Yes, yes, I have. Seeking the guidance of. Oh, let's see. Roll of paper. Um, Blackbriar Mead. Excuse me, sir. I'm I'm here to take this. Oh, this lamp isn't protected. Okay. Has a strange power within. Using it may grant your wishes. Beware, your wishes may come at a price. Found a unique genie lamp. Very good, very good. And a curiosity, just pure curiosity, if I were to quick save it, because uh, the the wish can RNG badly, and we're just gonna save scum it, um, just in case. But uh, about that um, that lamp there. Let me see here. Do, do. Here we go. Genie lamp. I wish for wealth. Please. All right. I got a thousand gold. We were able to wish for wealth. Excellent. Yep. Well, I mean, here's the thing. If you ignore the Nordic legend of the Dragonborn and instead you focus on. I get being the quote unquote gift from Akatosh. It could be freaking anybody. It's just that the Greybeards shouldn't really have cause to help you if you aren't Nord. That's the, uh, the issue there. I'll do an Akatosh dichotomy. Interesting. Pick that up. Uh, let's see. Well, we're picking up these books because they all belong in the gallery. We're picking up each one that we haven't read yet. This one here. Some of these have an important place in the gallery where others are uh, a bit different. But we're just making sure we pick them up properly. Because, uh, you know, they're just sitting around the temple not really being used. Yes, I'm, I'm, I know. You're going to need to be reminded of your place. Got it. Okay. Those two we already know. Big deal there. Don't even account. God, all these books need to be put in the gallery. That's kind of insane. Think about it. Just eat the damn sweet. Delicious. Is that what I think it is? Look at this doll here. It's the Pookie Bear. It's a creepy looking toy. I don't have any reason to mess with it, though. Pookie Bear. Frightening. Let's see here. Yep. Building Rulthrad as an elf, even though it has anti, uh, let's see, uh, is it w just where you store every item in the game? Well, not only do you store every unique item in the game, but also, um, it ties together all the different factions into a series of accomplishments. In addition, um, it also has a, um, its own main quest and its own faction where you become the leader of an archaeologist guild where you basically go and open up dig sites and you know the the actual archaeologists will do their work as you clear the dungeons for them stuff like that so there's there's like a series of quests that are dealing with them and uh it's also going to tie into something called like the, the main quest has you uh reforging the amulet of kings oddly enough but um the final, um, like the, the the final quest is actually going to tie into Odyssey of the Dragonborn, which is a mod that's under development right now, where you're going to go and visit a bunch of other regions. In other words, Speak, elf. there's a lot, uh, a lot going on. So yes, I think we're uh, we're done here. Yeah, we'll we'll leave. Oof, look at that. Yes. But it will basically require you complete the Legacy of the Dragonborn main quest. That's something that, you know, confuses a lot of people. Like, 
Why would you do that? Because it ties directly in. And the amulet of king. The amulet of kings is shattered. It's broken by Martin. He breaks the amulet of kings and exposes the blood of Akatosh inside, in order to transform himself into a dragon god and defeat uh, Merun's Dagon. That's um, that's the ending of Oblivion. And so the idea is that. You need to get the shards that have been uh, that have fallen to the hands of this particular order, and you gather the shards up, and you need to reforge it by doing a very particular thing to create a new covenant with Akatosh. Not to say that the sta dragon statue wasn't already a covenant, but you know, uh, when people forget what the statue represents, then eh. Proud Spire Man, I don't care about that going though. Supposed to meet with a guy here. Hold on, I'm, I'm gonna quick save it, and I need to actually fat, quote unquote, fast travel to White Run. That should get a guard, or not a guard, a, a guy to show up. Sorry, a um, one of those um, they call them. We're, we're trying to get a little guy to show up. I'm trying to remember what it's called. There should be a um. Odd. The goddamn courier. Yeah. I don't see a cur- like, I'm waiting for a courier to show up. And he's not. This is driving me crazy. I might just go play the game. Go, like, do quests and such. But he usually shows up, like, right around here, and then he runs to meet you. And I see no evidence that he's done that. But I think there might be a cooldown or something for him to trigger. Oh, well. So be it. All right. Well, I don't see any courier around here, so, um, well, they pay, f they play fast and loose with the lore, so get used to it or ignore it. It's up to you. Now then, uh, let's see here. Um, gonna say that um, report the vampire's death to the vigilant extender. There's the, oh, we need to go to the hall of the vigilant to report the vampire's death, so. That's one of the quests we did. We should probably head up north and uh, get that done. Think of it. Oh god, there's a whole bandit fort up there. I think I can shimmy through these mountains, though. Be unseen. So let's give it a try. That uh, This area has caused issues in the past, but hey. Um, it's something we can get done. Thankfully, uh, looks like we'll be able to... Actually, no. No, 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 no. I, I'm getting distracted. I need Lightning Bolt before we even bother fighting those guys. Let's go meet with Ferengar Secret Fire in the White Run Dragon's Reach Cloud District location. Very important. Uh, yes. That's very important. Okay. So, um... Come to chat with an old woman. Let's go. Do your good deed Aren't you using Frostfall? Because, well, number one, because... I live in an area where it snows. Cold. And uh, if it was that cold, people would fundamentally live different lives than they do here in Skyrim. So, um, also, like, uh, separating the whole realism concept, like, d divorcing it from that. I just don't like the gameplay loop it creates, where I'm like, I gotta, I gotta huddle for warmth. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta stand here and, and, and be warm. Like, I, I like, uh, like, when people look at hunger and thirst mods and they wonder, well, what are you doing? It gives purpose to the food and drink, right? It really does. I, and the fatigue gives you a, uh, a gameplay loop altering uh, mechanism. Where you will, uh, you said, uh, uh, crossfall slows down the pacing. Yeah. I agree. Exactly. 
It's no fun getting pushed around all the time. Yeah, you 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 do that, kid. Yes. Great uh, gameplay loop of visiting inns, taking breaks in gameplay. That is exactly what the fatigue mod does. That's what I'm talking about. Yes. Yes, people who uh, uh, made it seem probably have never been there yet. You need warm clothes. Okay, when people talk about, well, technically your armor is uh, is cold, you know, in the snow. It, you wear several layers of padded clothing under your armor. And if you if the game doesn't give you the option to do that, then there sh don't bother with the rest of it. Uh... Oh, where my breath is long wind. I breathe now in royalty and Yes. We don't we don't pray a talus. We, we we use the shrine in order to get the display. But uh we're going to meet Farangar Secret Fire now. Yes. Good enough. People are here. Children, avoid them. They hold the truth. Think very carefully about your next move. Yes, goodbye. My apologies. Farangar, I must speak with you. Come. It seems this damnable conflict has claimed everyone's passions of late. Me, I prefer my books and my spells. Right. Uh, uh, what do you got for sale? So, you wish to master the arcane arts? Uh, yes. And by master the arcane arts, I mean... I actually just want lightning bolt. That's literally all I want, is just lightning bolt. Thank you. I mean, Akato's recital might be nice, but, uh... You know, I'll settle for oak flesh as well. And I have an idea of how ridiculous this can be. So, wait, wait, what about stone flesh? Do we have stone flesh? Stone flesh? No, we can't afford that. We can afford oak flesh, though. So, uh, we'll do that right now. Good. You know, if you've got the aptitude, you should join the Mages College in Winterhold. Yes. So, uh, for those who don't know, what we're doing here is we are um, on our destruction uh, tree. We have Destruction Mastery, then you see there's the Fire, Cold, and Lightning Tree. We're going up the Lightning Tree currently. Uh, up to Static Field, Arc Burn, Magnetize, Nova Charge, Electro Convulsion, Show Them All, Storm Blast, and then Absolute Power! That's actually what we want Lightning Bolt for, is Absolute Power. So, uh, what we're going to do now is we are going to use... Um, we're going to first of all read the book. The book is important. The book must be read. Here we go. Lightning bolt and oak flesh. Next, we're going to activate oak flesh on both hands. Important. Okay? Oak flesh. Bam! Our flesh is now oak. Next, uh, we are going to... Uh, do this. We're going to use the ability called uh, Contingency. And so we activate Contingency. We activate a trigger condition. Uh, let's see. When you cast a spell, when you heal yourself, at random, uh, when you draw a weapon, 25% health, 25% magicka, 25% stat. When you enter combat. Here we go. When you enter combat. Bam. So now... When we enter combat, it will immediately, for free, cast Oak Flesh, increasing our armor slightly. That's it. That's all it's going to do. That's the Ultmer Contingency uh, Racial. One yep. of the new servants? Remember that I like my meat rare. Yes. Be hey, watch it. I like my meat rare. Wait. No, you don't. 
In fact, uh, wait, wait, hold on. How, how much, how many stolen goods do I... Oh god, I'm just looking at the amount of stolen goods I have. Like, I can't be caught right now. Yes. Okay, let's, uh... Keep going. No. There wasn't a cooldown when you tried? It would just go up, uh... Uh, I mean, Akata's Recital absolutely does, but the Altmer version, it has a cooldown. Akata's Recital does not. But Akata's Recital is a ritual spell, and it's really uh, overpowered. In fact, Akata's Recital isn't even... Rec uh, Apocalypse isn't even recommended by the author anymore. That He recommends Triumvirant, which is another mod we have. Uh, let me actually make sure we have it installed. Uh, yes, we have Triumphant, but we can't access it until we get to the College of Winter, which is fine. Uh, do, 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 do. Let me see here. Okay. Uh huh. else we got? You hate the way any sign keeps remaking his mods because he dislikes something? Eh, I'm fine with it. He's He keeps going to more minimalistic systems. As long as his old mods still work, I don't I mind it. I, I really don't mind it. Like, he can, he can keep going and making new versions of his older mods, especially if they work together. Like, uh, Triumvirant and um, Apocalypse can work together you know they, they they aren't mutually exclusive they are compatible so uh that's the really cool part is that you can use both you tried mercenary work it might suit you it might suit me what are you looking at i'm not afraid of you, you know, shut up even if you are my elder shut up little girl come to chat with an old woman hmm? Do my do, do deed for the day? Yes, I have my good deed for the day. Requires me to have more than that many septums. We need to go meet with the local merchant's guild uh, head. There's the leader of the merchant's guild is here. Ah, uh, yes. I heard that too. Queen Elisif told me. You know there's some fruits that actually grow better in the cold. <clears throat> <laughs> okay then that's fine that's fine <laughs> what do you mean he's wearing iron armor this is iron armor in the game you know what's wrong with skyrim these days everyone is obsessed with death okay I i'm actually I, I i quick saved it before i did that Alrighty then, so. <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> Let me know if you see anything you like. Hello? What do you want, little elf? Little elf, indeed. I work for Bellathor at the general goods store. Yes. Indeed. Uh, hello. <laughs> I'd even buy one of your relatives if you're looking to sell. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's a little joke. Yes. Uh, hey, you uh, <laughs> need some money. How much? Yeah, I, I, need, uh, I need to go ahead and uh, convert these silver septums into... Yeah, so 10 silver septums will be 250. Uh, likewise, uh, gold septums 100 apiece. That's fine. Then 25 septums per silver septum. Okay, two. Uh, let's see, is there anything else we need? No, we, we're good. We have a thousand. All right. Do -do. Okay. We still don't have the Khajiit note. He can't use the Khajiit note. Uh, he's a Merchant's Guild member. The Khajiit note only works with Khajiit. You just let me know what you need. I am at your beck and call. Okay. Uh, you be at my beck and call while I just... Rude, but I'm too busy to talk right now. Okay. 
Uh, yes, about that. Goodbye. <laughs> All right. Uh, fireball. Just type in uh, exclamation point mod list. Hmm? Need something? Wait. There's a laborer behind this. That's hilarious. Yes. <laughs> Everyone's talking at once. I've been looking for you. Really? Something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Really? Let's see here. Looks like that's it. Got to go. What'd you give me? I, I don't. I don't understand. See here. Uh, too bad. Silthy and beat you to it. That only one use of it per 30 seconds. There's a cooldown. You can read it. Oh. Yes. Alright. Yes, iron bikini indeed. Alright, we need to pay attention to this. We need to figure out exactly what's going on. Being distracted by that cat. The cat's trying to get back in. I'm like, no, I'm not letting you back in. You're, you're stuck. Okay. So, distractions aplenty. What was I going to do again? I used that. Oh, it was the note. Okay, what what letter do we have? It would be a leader. Figure this out. Nord women supposed to have beards? That's a very good question. Allgruff's letter. Fairy info. I like how you keep putting in the same command after it's already been, uh, like, after Momo and other people have already linked it. Alright, let me see here. Shrine map. This is the shrine map we got. Interesting. Uh, looks like, um, wow, Magnus Debella. Interesting. Oh. Yeah, there are a lot of different shrines that I saw there. I'm interested in this. Okay, but the question is, what letter did I get? Which isn't... I'm looking at everything. They seem... Oh, letter from Arian. There it is. All right. Good day, my friend. I hope this message finds you well. I wanted to report the current success of the museum and offer you an additional incentive as you've proven yourself uh, quite capable... Indeed. Uh, we have started to receive visitors from the museum, and they are quite taken with the displays. I've set up a donation box near the entrance, and I will leave your share of the contributions made by the patrons who visit it. Feel free to help yourself to the proceeds anytime you stop by. Additionally, I wanted to offer the use of the museum safe house. It's been locked up and unused for some time, but I went in and made sure it's in good order. You'll find it's fully equipped with all the amenities you could ever want. He will give you access. Good. Good lady. Hmm. Yes. I ain't done nothing. Ain't done nothing. All right. Well, in that case, we are basically a good to go. I think um, we, yeah, we're, we're pretty much um, able to run with this. Let's uh, let's head on out. I suppose. Um, we need to get back to solitude now. We'll take the wagon, as you know. I only used fast travel the one time because I wanted to get the courier to trigger. So, um, for those who don't know how fast travel works, um, it's actually, um, I have a, what do you call it? A particular macro that, that, that best explains fast travel. I think it's uh, right here. So even though the world is huge, you can select anywhere you know about on the map and instantly fast travel there. This gets you right to the fun. Fast travel. Fast. There you go. So, uh, that's uh, how it works, yes. Okay. It's right to the fun. Exactly. All right. We're going to go ahead and um, take the wagon back to Solitude, and we'll begin working on our safe house, which will be our new place to live as long as we are collecting relics. It's important. 
because that's our job now. We are a relic hunter. And in exchange, obviously, we have a place to live. It's good. Yes? Yeah. Carriage, please. Where do you want to go? Okay. Uh, about that, uh, Hoffengar. Going straight through, or did you want to stop somewhere along the way? Uh, nope. Solitude. Climb and back, and we'll be off. Couldn't ask for better weather. Could it be law? All right. Very good. The journey doesn't matter. You're, are you winning, son? All right. Moving on, moving on. Got to get there. We actually slept pretty well in the um, in the wagon. It's kind of funny. That's the, the wagon is, as someone mentioned it earlier, a hotel. says I want some raw gear anymore. Yes. But he wouldn't tell me why not. Don't forget the Amazon wish list and the old fans. Oh no. Oh no. Yes. Tendrils of thought may wind their way through this realm. Be surprised. Alright. Let's move on here. All right, moving on. Got. Looks like the donations are here indeed. Fifty-four septum. It's nice. Next, we are going to go up and around. This should get us into the safe house. Theory. Go up here. Da -da -da. Actually, hold on. Uh, I'll come in. Thank you. For the donation. Ah, oh, there's no message attached to it. Well, still, thank you. I uh, appreciate it. Uh, we need to go talk with Arian and tell him we have too much stuff. That's one of the lines we can tell him. Kind of a big deal. Yes, oh. you need something. Uh, hold on a second. Excuse. I didn't mean to talk to you right away. I actually meant to turn on all the other sound. Go to setting, audio. Make sure that all the other sounds are on. I don't. I don't hear any music, and I think that's weird. Wondering if the music is, is broken. Good. I don't see Aryan here. Where's Aryan hiding? Oh, the, the, Avram Shazar is the uh, can I help? is the guard. So there he is. You're back. Wonderful. I trust things fare well. I found an odd weapon from a Dunmer trader, and it turned out to be something rather impressive. Thorn blade. Here, have a look and place it on display if you like. Looks good. All right, so let's have a look at thorn blade. You know what? Sky only. Yeah, yeah. Uh, hold on, hold on. Um, yeah, this thing looks pretty fancy. Well, let's compare it to the other one. Is this fifteen to fifteen? Skull crusher is nineteen. Let's let's stick with skull crusher. This sword does uh is extra effective against undead. Well. Actually, I think I prefer Thornblade as a result. Skull Crusher's kind of nice, but Thornblade just has a little, a uh, little bit of an extra stabby stab to it. That's uh, kind of nice there. Uh, Alrighty then. So let's move on. What do we got here? So if we look, should be shrines. I don't see them right. Now. The Ebony Raven. Dominus. Okay, the Shrines of the Divines aren't here. They're in the main area. Makes sense. Let's go look at the East Exhibit Halls really quick. Let's see here. No, this is the Daedric Gallery. We don't have to worry about that. Let's go back and loop around. So, um... It's upstairs where I wanted to check out. Yes. Upstairs. 
sprint, sprint, sprint. And um, there should be a, yeah, it's a gallery of natural science. I don't have any paintings. Sorry, game. Um, okay, I need to tell Ari and I had too much stuff. The library. All the books in the game belong here. Like one of e every book in the game belongs here, including like all the treasure maps for the treasure map we found earlier. Well, as you can see, um, like they, they show you where the treasures are. That's kind of nice. And we get kind of put up here. We got uh, like all the books in the game. If we look types, bell tome, see. Arian, I was looking for you, Arian. I need to talk. Do you have a question? Uh, here's the deal. I have way too much stuff. Yes, I'd imagine with all these relics you're finding, you must be bringing back lesser items tenfold. I think I may be able to help you with that, though. I have many contracts in the trading world in case a rare or unique artifact surfaces. I can make arrangements to liquidate your surplus spoils. I would most likely only be able to get about 30% of the value of the item to start, with the merchants willing to pay a bit more after we've proven the worth of your goods. Also, the merchants would like to see in person any enchanted items you are made if they are able to pay premium for them. So, continue to sell those yourself, but they will purchase any found relics with enchantments, sight unseen. Okay. Very well, then. Just put anything you want sold into the sell cart in the safe house, and every day I'll see to it that some of the items get sold off. And I'll put the proceeds of the sales in a lockbox on the desk by the safe house door. Sounds good. I'll start selling things off in a few days, so you have plenty of time to sort through your wares. Yes, 30% is much better than what I get on my own, actually. It's way better. It's... Uh, how do I put this? There is... Uh, Turn the music down again. Don't get me wrong, the music's kind of okay, but still, just a bit overpowering. Let's see, yeah, you can see Mara's tear. I don't miss the old times, but little compares to the excitement of battle. Yes, you can see there. Uh, some of the books that I've been finding, each have their own place in the gallery, as you can see. Kind of nice. Ooh, let's uh, get out of here. Wait. Yeah, it's the Hall of Heroes. Hall of Heroes. Yes, this is the right place. Okay, so wait. There's an upstairs and a downstairs to that. We went to the East Exhibit Halls already. Upstairs here. Let's check this area out. Uh, let me see here. Don't have any of the new helmets. You can see the Amulet of Mara we got, Amulet of Talos we got. There's also one of the Enchanted Rings here, Dense Dagmar's Ring. It's there. Let's see here, that leads out to Solitude. Don't want to go there right now. I uh, wanted to go... Let's, yeah, I don't need to go to the Hall of Natural Science. That would be... Dragonborn Hall. That's where we wanted to check out. Alright, so... Dragonborn Hall is an interesting place uh, because what we have, like, there's a lot of different uh, things. Like, this is from the Accoutrements mod. The Elder Scroll of Warlord fits there. The, the different Dragon Priest armors each fit here because each Dragon Priest has its own uh, set. So, um, but uh, you can see over here, these are the different standing stones we've interacted with. And every standing stone you interact with gets added here, and you can revisit that standing stone anytime you want and be able to, uh, you know, switch between standing stones by whichever ones you've uh, interacted with. So I could switch standing stones right now here, uh, but only with the ones I've interacted with in the game world. So when I, if I go to the, you know, the... Um, what do you call it? I'm trying to remember what it's called. The king. Uh, <laughs> God damn, I've already forgotten. The steed, for example. If I interact with the steed, then the steed stone will get put here. Uh, likewise, you can see all of the divine shrines here. Uh, because I've interacted with all of them, they got added to the gallery. Now there's another thing we need to activate right now. This will start a little side quest. We just uh, hit this button here.
We're going to the Hall of Secrets. Okay. Here we go. The Hall of Secrets. That's what Thornblade's for, I guess. Aryan and the Chamber of Secrets. Ask Aryan about the hidden room. Yes. Now look at this. Doesn't this scream there's more? In fact, it does. But, um, yeah, so. Aryan and the Chamber of Secrets. Very good. Very good. Let's see. The old safe house in Legacy of the Dragonborn is too crowded if you wanted to have followers in it. It uh, it was a good solo place. But um, it had issues, again, if you wanted to... Uh... Bam. Have multiple NPCs in there. Let's go meet with Aryan and tell him about the the Chamber of Secrets. See if uh, we can uh, ask him about that room. Hell are you, Aryan? He's in here. Probably in the library. Or he's asleep, one of the two. Oh, yeah, he's asleep. Go get him. Uh, is he having a meal? He's having a meal. Okay. Hey, Aryan. Let's have a chit chat. Yes, I'm going to sit next to you. I'm going to talk. About that. Uh, tell me, uh, what's under Dragonborn Hall? Oh, the Hall of Secrets. I had all but forgotten about it, to be honest. When we broke ground on the foundation of the museum expansion, we accidentally broke through into a sealed-off chamber that was built under the Pelagius Wing of the Blue Palace. When I asked them about it, it apparently used to be some sort of panic room for Pelagius when he was in one of his more violent manic episodes. They sealed it off long before the rest of the wing and forgot all about it. I asked for permission to use the room as a bit of a secret storage vault in case Solitude was ever invaded. I would store the relics there and lock down the museum. They gave permission and I had the tunnel finished and access in the hall made. I see. Could I use it as a private display uh, space for away from prying eyes? In other words, Thieves Guild and Dark Brotherhood relics. That's what this is for. Hmm, certainly. I suppose if you are ever in need of a place to store items of a more mm, questionable nature, that room would be ideal. Yep. I'll go ahead and outfit it for you, but I'll take a nobody asks, nobody tells approach to it, and you do with the room as you like. And I won't plan on taking any tours down there either. <laughs> I should have it all cleaned up for you by tomorrow. Yes. All right. Uh, there we go. So, uh, that'll do it. Good. Glad we've uh, got that straightened up. Oh, you're here. Yes, I am. Why? What's up? What can I do for you? I thought you had something else to say. Why? I was like, oh, you're here. Okay, w what's up? What's going on? Nothing. We're going to the safe house. We have the key now. We can interact with the safe house as we see fit. Safe houses. Can I activate the light? Yes. Very good. You can see this is where the cell card is. And where all the different weapons are. So like the one-handed swords that I've collected that are extra. Two-handed swords I collected that are extra. Axes. Uh, so on. Uh, daggers. And you can see how that works. Like all the extras that don't go in the gallery go into that little space there. Rather nice. Let's uh, see the wood pile. We don't have any wood in the wood pile. We'll have to chop some wood later. In here, this is our crafting area. We've got uh, leather craft supplies, canning rack, ore supply, workbench, forge here. The smelter's hilarious, but look at this is how the smelter works. Watch. This is hilarious. Look at this. <laughs> I gotta stir that. Uh... Oh, thank God. It's not... Now he's holding an iron pole. 
before he was holding a wooden pole when he was stirring it. And I was just like, you know, just uh, <laughs> when he was stirring a wooden stick in there. Now it's made of metal. Okay. Still, the fact he's stirring a stick and that's how you smelt things, I, I don't know about that too much. Doesn't matter. Uh, Staff Enchanter. Yeah. You don't unlock that in Dragonborn? No, no you don't. But you still need Hearthstones. Those are important. Don't have a bunch of those. Alright, well, that's about it for that. My goodness. Okay, we have most of the safe house already dealt with. Let's check the in this room. This is our kitchen. Yes. By the way, any food we put in the uh, sorting chest will get put on this table. So you can see like this chicken dumpling. We look at our, uh, our food right here. Well, let's actually put them all away in the sorting chest and I'll show you what I mean. So we're going to really quick, if we just go to the sorting chest, uh, you can see the horse heart and the animal fat. These are all things that weren't made to be processed by the gallery. Like the gallery has no idea what to do with them. So it just leaves them in the sorting chest. But uh, we're going to put all this food away. And then we're going to do the same thing with the alchemy ingredients. They just all go in the sorting chest. The sorting chest automatically sorts them to wherever they need to be. Oh. Do it. Okay. So, it says sorting items, please wait. And the idea is if we go over here, you'll be able to see food popping onto the table. Hey, you see, you see that uh, soup just popped onto that section there? God damn it. Get out, get out of my way. I'm trying to see food pop onto the table. But that's, that's kind of how it works, is uh, as the food automatically gets sorted, it kind of pops onto the table. Now, if we look over here and we have no food, say I want to grab uh, a chicken dumpling. Take it. Along with a lavender honey dumpling, uh, a couple tomato soups, and um, a vegetable soup. And now if we look over here, there in our inventory, the tomato soup disappeared because we looted it all. But that's uh, how that works. Now if we want to really travel, there's a secret passage here. No problem. Not going to take it right now, but it's a way to get into our safe house from a different location. And as for this, you can see like all the different desserts go in the, these little cabinets here. Uh, down here in this ice box are for raw foods. These are for cooked foods. There's an oven and um, there's a cooking pot next to the fire. In this, these are like raw foods that uh, have been placed, you know, like that need to be cooked. Over here, there's a clutter chest. So when you get something stupid like a basket or a loot, like items that serve no purpose in the game, like a broom, for example, it, this will dynamically populate one of each of those things. And then you can find them like uh, where there are um, the extras in here. Let's see here. Yes, mead, spiced wine. Guy's drinking. Uh, let's actually use this to refill our water skins. Yep, refilled three water skins. Very good. Some clam chowder and venison there. Very good, very good. Uh-huh. Now then, uh, let's go ahead and um, that'll just about do it. I think we've uh, completely set. Uh, you said that uh, there's enough place for your harem. Well, you're not necessarily wrong because these can each be turned into little rooms for your individual followers. It's true. So like each one of those little spots there. As for your room, your room's over here. And it has a lot of different things. We're going to add the outfit power. Yeah. Please do. Dynamically lets us change outfits. That's fine. Take it. Oh, uh, yeah. Add outfit. Uh, so now here we got the cloak closet. So whenever we put cloaks in, cloaks can occupy these uh, these spaces here. Um, as far as this... Dragon language, myth no more. We need to go ahead and do that there. Are there pens for your followers? Well, you have to understand a bed will fit there. But don't worry, because we, we have a nice little place here. We'll just uh, 
Activate the valve. And now, uh, now, now we'll just sit down. Come on. Sit down and relax. Put your clothes on, because that's what dumbasses do. Very good. The lighting seems to be lacking. Well, I also have the, the game a bit darker. And the skylight, as you can see, there's... Going on there. You know, there's no uh, no firewood in the fireplace, unfortunately. So uh, maybe if we lit some fires, things would be better. But it's nighttime now, so we're just close. If you're a vampire, you'd want to close these up, you know. But yeah, I mean, it is nighttime, so we don't have any fires going in the fireplaces. So you know how that is. Be a, be a vampire and close everything up. Don't want anyone to see what we're doing. Don't worry about it. I'm gonna say that over here, there's one more you can, and you can close all of these. Which is interesting. But uh, yeah, over here you can see more space for your followers, and you'll be able to buy that space at the um, turn off the valve before we end up flooding the place. You can't actually flood the place, by the way. Let me see. Okay, soap from the Wind Peak Inn. You can you can get all the different soaps from all the different inns in the game. That's serious business. A soap rack. Now, um, there should be a secret button around here somewhere. Find it right there behind the banner. And how it works is <clears throat> uh, this is your treasure room. What you do is you take all your money and you deposit it, all your septums, into this journal. Now, that's not going to do anything for me. I'm going to deposit all of it right now. And you're going to see like these coins appeared on the table. Nothing else really happened, right? Just, uh, if we remove it, you'll see the table change. See? The treasure disappeared. The entire room fills with treasure as you put more and more treasure into it. The idea is you it will fill up completely. Yes. Pretty good. So, uh... Yeah, it's... It's nice. But for now... Do gold bars work in the treasure room? I don't think they do. You need to melt them down into septums. Or convert them. Alright. Well. I have to go now.